roughly two in the afternoon and I just felt like I needed to get grab the camera I haven't really been vlogging because we have been putting out videos but I am kind of exhausted David is out doing some quick work stuff and I thought that I should try to probably do some things to focus on like getting to the holiday and fall season type of stuff so i got some bats on amazon which i'll show you in a minute but first yo the discovery is real when it comes to these press on nails i know if you see my latest nails and yes my fingers are still ashy i had to actually cut them down some because it was a little bit much for me to handle the babies even wiping my butt was hard i don't know how y'all do it with these long nails but it's still decent length as you can see but you know way shorter than what it was but i am on the discovery on some of these press on nails because the price they be selling on instagram is kind of ridiculous and i just feel like what have i been doing i went through quarantine buying all this nail stuff to start making my own press on nails when i can get nails for like press ons that's equally as nice for like 20 bucks 15 bucks easily these nails that i have on even though they may not be all that crazy even though they're still cute i've been getting compliments on them i only paid 13 no 16 dollars for the set of nails and my nails is done you know what i'm saying so i seen this one that i was looking at on etsy I don't know if you can kind of tell. I thought it was really cute. It's like this this teal marble like effect. And this is $22. So this is really nice. I think I'm going to start doing this and building a collection. You see these nails? Do you see these nails? I thought this was so cute. With the, the Disney nails. And this is like $11. And then you add shipping to it. It's crazy. If I knew all that, I wouldn't have bought my whole life in doing my own nails and stuff like that. Like, I spend a good, decent amount of money and I can't never find the time or the energy to do my own nails. I'd rather just buy the press songs and build me a collection and then just rotate after I get a good amount of them. So, <coughs> yeah, that's that. So, I'm on, like, this binge of adding a bunch of favorite nails that I eventually want to get whenever I get money and stuff like that. But outside of that, let me show you the bad thing that I'm trying to put. I kind of already started doing a little bit. You see that on the TV, it's like netting. I'm gonna get her some crackers. I won't be surprised if Nala come out because every time I hit this corner, she knows for some odd reason. Get her some of these. She can eat this. What I tell you? What I tell you? I'll tell you. Right on cue. So crazy. Noel can eat these finally. She's pretty good at chewing and it's just these little like wafer things. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's like these little pods. But when you chew on them, because I tried this first, when you chew on them, they like automatically dissolve. So I actually can give her this whole piece and she was pretty fine. She has never choked on these, so. <laughs> Don't you grab it from her. No. Don't you grab it. You can get your own. You gotta be nice to your sister. Don't grab her stuff. I really don't like to give Nala these because I just feel like she's too big for these. And Noelle can actually eat through a good amount of these, but I'll go ahead and give her one just for the sake. You get one, that's it. You get other snacks. I hate when she do that. How do you get your kid to stop doing this? 
So the things I got is this, and it's supposed to be like some 3D type of bat sit situation. I guess these little tabs are just sticky tabs. The plan is to put them around my um, TV to look like bats are, bats are flying over the TV type thing. Should be interesting. Also, I want to try to find a banner to put right under here. This cord don't even have to be there. They actually go to Xbox that's not even under there. So the plan is to put it over here like they're flying a banner here. And I actually want to try to do something different. So this is our kitchen, right? I want to try to see if I can do like the Harry Potter floating candles as my lighting over the island. My island's dirty, so I have seen a couple DIYs and it's made out of gift wrap paper for the most part and glue gun so i definitely want to try that out but let's see if i can get this right so just just watch me try to put this up all right so we're starting to pull down some things from the attic so the goal is to put it up here. I know you probably can't see it properly. Y'all get my gist, it's gonna go up there. And then we're gonna build the rest of the things around it. All right, my apologies, you guys. It's actually a few days later. It was kind of really hectic trying to get the bats to stay up or whatever so we had to play around with it and it was taking a lot of camera time to try to show you guys the the loops of how we got here but anyway this is what it's looking like so what I ended up doing was we had a bag she thinks she's a zombie now we've been watching little zombie things and now she's making zombie noises yeah yeah, you have fun with that. But we end up just putting some little spider webs. It should be interesting trying to get this out of this. I really want to find like maybe like a... <laughs> I really want to find like a pumpkin or anything to spruce this up. Maybe like leaves or anything like that. But we end up using... Because we tried the tape thing that ain't worked. The thumbnail looked it funny. So we end up putting a tiny bit of hot glue on it and sticking it up there. I wouldn't necessarily, it depends on your paint that you have. This is the paint that came with the house. So usually that's really cheap paint. So it comes up really easily. If you guys decide to get something like this, be very careful because it's a good chance that the paint will probably come up a little bit. You can kind of cover it up easily, but just know they do tend to come up. And I know that from our baby shower situation what we did in the hall but we can't even tell no more over time but yeah so it was the only thing that was keeping it up so we did hot glue then this was from last year and then this was something from the Dollar Tree that I just decided to help fill in the gap so I'm actually about to go to the Dollar Tree today and try to see if I can find something really quickly while they would try to get them ready so we can go to like Walmart so that's kind of the plan of today oh I did end up getting this from uh, Amazon this is the Hocus Pocus shirt I plan on wearing this for the uh, pumpkin patch that we're going to this weekend so hold this so I can see if it actually fits yeah so <laughs> she is really trying to scare me. Um, so hopefully I think I got this in extra large I heard that you post the size up hopefully that is true I would say it's pretty much true so look at it you guys it's hocus pocus i like the material yeah it's very soft or whatnot ah! yeah baby so i was really worried about on, the print but the print actually looked really good and it's long oh my god yes because i hate these short shirts that's so my fupa can be out but yeah this is what i plan to wear into the pumpkin patch and some leggings and just call it a day, but be in season, child. So, how many of y'all are in the Halloween spirit? It's been a rough, rough year, and I'm kind of surprised that I am getting into the seasons because I haven't in a while. Ooh, while I'm out, I can get the pumpkin thing. Oh, yes, that is happening. I 
am definitely gonna go to Dairy Queen and get me the pumpkin pie ice cream. It's, it's gotta happen. I'm so sorry, David, but you're gonna have to hide it from me. So, I think I'm going to be doing all of the uh, Halloween decorations inside this year. I have a couple of DIYs that I'm trying to do uh, without doing too much. Um, because before you know it, Halloween's gonna be over with. And yeah, I know how I do. Once I start putting up stuff, I don't like taking them down. But I do plan on um, starting in November, putting up trees and stuff like that. It's gonna be a Halloween, I mean, a Christmas Thanksgiving in my house. We're probably not gonna even stay here for Thanksgiving. We're probably gonna go to David's family and stuff. What else can I talk to you guys about? Oh, how many people um, is gonna be trick-or-treating? It feels so weird. Now, every year on Halloween, we don't do anything. Like, we do give out candy in the morning times and all that stuff, but outside of that, uh, we definitely just lock our doors and say don't knock on our door. Because, for one, we have kids. And if you wake our kids up just to be asking Halloween candy and stuff like that, it's going to be a problem. Especially between July and Halloween, they'd be blowing up our door. Now, granted, we'd be having, like, projectors and stuff on our window. We look, like, very welcoming. But actually, on Halloween, all lights off, everything's off. Are you ready? Yeah. What can I get for you? Can I get a medium pumpkin pie blizzard with whipped cream and onion ring? Regular large? Regular. Anything else? No, that's all. Alright, here's a the window. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm supposed to be getting back right on my diet, but listen. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, thank you. She <laughs> waited for her. I'm going to pass it along. I appreciate that. Thank you. You too. Now, we're pretty much looking for decor. Ooh, use some of these. Where I can hang them from. Maybe I can use this around the TV instead. Let me, yeah. Oh, it's like little head pieces. Interesting. What kid is fitting this? This is like the size of my hand. This is tiny. Cooking little mints. That's cute. These little hands are nice. I don't know what I would do with it. Huh. Not a lot that is catching my, my eye. So I don't see me spending too much time here. Kind of underwhelming. They usually have more in the Dollar Tree. What's this? It's a little fence. Hmm. Interesting. I don't really see anything. So, you know, go back home. Mm. No, really. Come eat. She like this. Come on. Show the people. Show the people. Show the people. Show the people. Come on. You can come. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. David had did her hair. <laughs> you got your hair pulled back today? Good girl. Are you holding it by yourself? Oh, you a big girl. She holding by herself.
<laughs> Very committed to seeing the TV. So we're back in the car, in the car, in the car. We're back in the car, in the car, in the car. Oh. We here, y'all. At Walmart. Wally World. Let's see what Halloween stuff we can find. Wish us luck, because it hasn't been <laughs> that good so far in these stores. Yeah, I don't know if I told y'all, but it sucks. Okay. Nobody wants to celebrate Halloween. Mm -mm. I mean, we're not going to celebrate, celebrate like that either with trick-or-treating, but we're going to do a little something, you know? Yeah, definitely so. Definitely going to get in some kind of holiday spirit, so to speak. Halloween. We can, you know what, but we still should get candy for us while we watch movies and stuff. I mean, that'll work. Ooh, look at this. There's Beetlejuice. Where's the body? No, I think it like blows in the wind or something like that. Uh, oh, that's a costume. It said when you put it on, you add two feet to the wearer's height. Wearer's height. Oh, wow. So, as you guys saw earlier, we have some decorations in the house just around the TV right now, the little bats and whatnot. So we're looking to see if there's anything that kind of goes with our theme that we can add on just little small stuff and you know put it in the house in a way that makes it look big so the focus this year is inside decorations yeah i said i wanted a couple of these for the little web area yeah so i kind of see i want some like this i want some like black sparkly ones See, I think if we can find them, I think we should get some black uh, pumpkins. Because I think that would go real well. Inside the web? Yeah. Close, close, but we want the whole thing black. How much are they? They're 98 cents. She, she likes this kind of stuff. The blood. Yeah, it's the like floor. a heart. Ribs. Ribs, though. What's, what's ribs look it's like? It's a cool. A long, a heart, five fingers, two ears, two eyes, and a brain. Show them what the ribs look like. Right here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Six dollars? That's pretty cheap. Hi, Nala. What you doing? Yeah, good job. Good waving. Yeah. Now we just gotta add a smile with that, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> look at this, babe. So that's like a whole spider sack. Yeah, it's supposed to look like there's just spiders hanging from it. That's, that's cool. That's kind of cool. Sister sleep. She's sleeping. They got a nice reef. Yeah. Ain't that what you're talking about? The tower? No, I'm looking at this reef. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's a pretty nice reef. Twenty dollars. This will be our first Halloween reef. We, use, we have the skull that talks to you. We usually put that on the front door. But this year we're gonna try something different. But this is not an invite for people to come and trick or treat at our house. <laughs> COVID. This would be kind of cool to have on the window, our big window in the living room. And you kind of still be able to see outside, but kind of like everybody inside can see like this. So this is for people on the inside to see? Yeah. Okay. So the most expensive thing in here is this reef. It's $20, but you know, that's a pretty good price for a reef. Getting kind of hot in the store in this mask. I'm usually used to it, but today is a different day. It's hot. So that's somebody that got wrapped up by the spider, and now he's a cocoon. That's pretty cool. Well, luckily, we've only been through like one row, so <laughs> they got a whole section over here that's like four or five rows, so yeah. probably have a lot more stuff we just haven't run into yet. Look at this spider. Oh, and it drops. Yay. That's pretty cool. This That's is good for over the garage. Mm -hmm. I hate spiders too. This is creepy to me. Pennywise. No, I've never seen this movie. You'll float too. I don't know what that means, but 
never seen this video. Before. If David would allow me to have my tree, this could have been on my tree. All this paint and makeup. <laughs> yeah. They got a lot of it here. Hi guys. So we are officially back. Uh, I don't know if the lighting's funny, but I wanted to end up showing you guys what we end up getting because to be quite honest, it was a lot. We only end up getting the uh, gold head and two pumpkins. And like I said, I wanted to figure out a way to actually just get it to stick in here some kind of way. I'll just stick it right there just as an example. It looked like it just got lost in space in there. Because David didn't want the, the orange one. Just pop it up there for example sakes to pop a little bit color in there. I really kind of wanted the loud one, but it's all good, it's no big deal. I'm fine with this. So we ended up getting those, and so we did end up getting the outfit for me and David, and somehow forgot to lost our energy to really thoroughly look to see if they had the toddler sizes. So that should be interesting to see Garland the Halloween garland. So I'm gonna put that on in a minute. And got some latex because I might make my own like splash hand bloody situation and make it look like prosthetics. And then we just got the candle wax. And this smells so good. Hold on, sorry y'all can't even see me. Hold on. Let me see it. Try to see if it look normal. <laughs> I don't know if it look normal or not. David's trying on the Halloween fit. No. The arms are tight. No. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me show you. <laughs> it looked like a woman's shirt. <laughs> Look. <laughs> so what ended up happening was we thought we'd go ahead and get the women's sizes and you know, everything should be good and Gucci. But what ended up happening is that he looked like a straight female in this outfit and the pants are tight. Let me go ahead and take it back. Yeah, I wonder if I can fit this one. So, while it's out, yeah. He might have been good in the man's medium. But while we do that and he's taking that off, let me show you my Hocus Pocus shirt. So, I have it on. And like I said, I have the extra large. And I don't know if you can tell, but the material is very shiny. It's very glistening. Uh, the camera's not even doing it justice. But in real life, there's like a halo effect that's going on. This is definitely just not regular printing. I don't even know how they did this or whatever. There's no like scratching it off. Uh, washing won't mess this up. I really do like this shirt. It definitely size up because this does not fit like an extra large. I typically wear a large, not an extra large. So I'm gonna try on this outfit and then we can see what that looks like. All right, so now I have on the Halloween pajamas. I probably need you to hold this real quick to show. But this is the Halloween PJs. I'm actually surprised that it fits like to the size for the most part because they be lying. I wish you had a, a drawstring though. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that's missing to me. Drawstrings are always good in pockets. Yep. They ain't got no pockets? No. Right. No pockets. But I'm about to go ahead and try to put this garland up while the babies are eating because it's quite late. Um, and see how it is. I think I'm going to use the thumbtacks. So. I like the drape look better. Okay, no, hold on. <laughs> she is out, y'all. I didn't even know that she fell asleep. <laughs> she is out like a light. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Now, uh, time for bed? Time for bed? But I think that's going to be pretty much it. Um, I don't know if um, we're going to 
add maybe later maybe tomorrow whatever i don't know to the low lights and we're still pondering what we want to do as far as the blood and all the latex and stuff like that so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and close out definitely love you guys and we'll see you in the next one peace peace